Hey everyone, today in this video I'm going to be showing you five super cool Google Chrome extensions that I use pretty much on the daily. Hey, yeah, you probably scared you. I'm sorry. I'm not actually sorry. Yo, you know what you should feel sorry for? Not clicking that subscribe button. So if you could do me a favor and click subscribe right now, it's completely free and you can even unsubscribe later. Thanks. Enjoy the video. Now, without any further delay, let's get on to the first one. Now, the first one is really, really useful for Discord, so this is why I use it. The first one's called Premid. All you have to do is install the Google Chrome extension, and this one's a bit different. This is the only one we're going to do this on, is click on their website right here. It's going to load up here and install the proper application for your device. Now, when you do this in the bottom corner over here, this little thing called Premid will install. It's totally fine and it's safe for your computer if you have any questions for it. Now you may be asking, why do I even install it? Well, I'm going to show you what's super cool about it. So on Discord, Discord server link below by the way, at the top you can currently see that I'm listening to Crash on Spotify. Now what if I wanted to listen to something on SoundCloud and have it be displayed on my Discord? Well with Premid you can do just that with the Google Chrome extension. So since you have the application and the Google Chrome extension, you can go to the top right here and you can go to your little pre-made. You click on it, it opens up this little preference store and you can see I've, I've dabbled with this. I, I have borne no fun. I have, it's, trust me, it's funny. It's funny, believe me. Um, you can have anything display and whatever you're on, it will display. So you can go to the preference store over here and get SoundCloud. So... Now that I have SoundCloud, if I go to the SoundCloud website, I don't really use SoundCloud that much anymore. We'll play Slow Love. So as you can see, I'm currently playing it. And if you go back to my Discord up here, you'll also notice that it's playing right now. It does say play the game, not listening to, but it does show the song I'm listening to, that it's playing, and that how much time we have left on the song. And then as you can see, when I click pause, it just keeps it on discovering. There you go. This was the first Chrome extension. This is the only extension that you need to download an application for. Since this was related to Discord, I kind of felt like we needed to show it, or at least I needed to add it to the first one. The next one is Adblock. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Adblock's bad. It stops the ads. People don't get paid on YouTube and stuff like that. Now, what's really cool about this ad block that I recommend is if you go to YouTube and you go to this one probably has ads, right? And if you go to the top where you see your ad block, even if it may be in within this category, if it's up here, you click on it and you'll see allow ads on this channel. You click that, it will reload the page, and there you go. It will play ads on that channel. This is why I like it. The main reason why you might want to do this and put ads on your channel and allow it to play ads is because with smaller channels like mine, we only rely strictly on ads. We don't rely on sponsorships, stuff like that yet. Bigger channels typically have sponsorships and they get paid through many other sources where for smaller channels, we just have AdSense to rely on. That's why I recommend you undoing it like right over here if i go over here you'll see a little uh green mark it's because i told adblock to remain paused on my channel and if you do get this please consider doing that too not just for me for other people who have smaller channels so there you go that's adblock it's my favorite adblock there's multiple ad blocks on the chrome store but i recommend this one and i will have all these chrome extensions by the way linked in the description below just to make sure you get the right ones. Coincidentally, talking about YouTube, the next one is Return YouTube Dislike. This one's pretty self-explanatory, it's kind of within the name. What this does is it returns the YouTube Dislike button. If you don't know, YouTube recently removed the Dislike button, and it's kind of ridiculous that they did it, because it destroys completely a, a balance of good and bad, helpful and non-helpful content. But what this does is this reinstates it. I'm going to quickly remove it from Chrome, and I'll show you on a YouTube video. See that there's currently no dislikes here. It's hidden, but you can see the likes. You go to Return YouTube Dislike, you click Add to Chrome, it says Add Extension, it says it's been added, do a quick refresh, 
and you'll see that the dislikes are back. Quick little rundown really quickly on how that works. So YouTube's API still has the dislike metric um, available for creators, us creators. You can actually view the dislikes on your end. So all this does is kind of like bring that to the main page for you to see it. So yeah, it's there the whole time. It's just hidden from you for no reason. Now the third one is Grammarly. I'm going to be honest with you. I was never the best at English. I'm still bad at it. It's my first language and I'm very, very bad at it. So when it comes to typing and writing and all that good stuff, Grammarly has helped me with numerous emails and many other little messages I just had to throw in there that I've written on Google. So if you don't know how Grammarly works, it's going to show you right here. Here's a little brief, whatever you type, it'll suggest you, hey, that's the wrong effects. You should probably switch that so you don't look like a complete utter idiot when you send that message. So it basically kind of like just disses you and causes you an idiot as it fixes your problems. Um, I heavily suggest it, so <laughs> get Grammarly. You'll be surprised um, when it just kicks in and you're like, really, I did that wrong? That's, that's whack. So yeah, get Grammarly. The fifth and final one, and I know I said third in the last one for Grammarly, but I was just wrong because I lost count. But the third, fuck, <laughs> the fifth one is stay focused. This one I recently came across after I noticed I was spending too much time on pointless websites, just completely wasting my time, mainly really late at night. If I said I was going to go to bed at a certain time and I look at the time and I'm about 40 minutes past and then that gets to an hour, two hours, three hours, stuff like that, that actually happens to me and it's becoming more of a problem because of the internet. I hate the internet. Um, so stay focused is super, super cool. Um, say you are on Project Free TV. Good show, by the way. Billings is such a good freaking show i cannot wait for them to start the sixth season you can also see that there's a crap ton of ads on this site and thank god it blocked 24 some still pop up in the bottom here that they try to get through me but thank god i got norton antivirus but you go to your little chrome extension up here you click on stay focused and this will pop on now it will tell you the site that you're on and the timer you have you click block this entire site it says success now, of course, if you don't like the time it's given you and you want to increase it, you can click settings right here and you can change it. You can change it to 10, you can change it to 15, 20, 30, an hour, however long you want to be on there. And you can even reset the daily limit for when it resets. So for this case, I'm going to set it to one minute. When you, when you do, it says you're giving yourself less time, slow clap. Well played, my friend, your settings have been updated. So I'm going to go back over here to Billions, and you're going to start to see it's, it's doing that scary, I should probably pin it here, there you go. Uh, yep, yeah, it is updating. As you see, it's now counting 20 seconds until my doom. I can no longer use this site, so let's see what happens when it gets to zero. Five, four, three, two, one. You'll see this pop up. Shouldn't you be working? And, um, there you go. This blocks it for the whole day now. It does, you know, have other recommendations that they've probably made for Chrome extensions, so you don't have to get that. But, if you even refresh the page, it's done. You can't do it. That's, let's close it. Let's uh, open it up again. And there you go. Still limited. Now, if, like I said, if you do want to turn this off, you click here, you go to settings. And you can just click reset the daily limit over here, set it to whatever time, um, and you'll be good. There's a nuclear option, which I don't know what this does. I haven't really checked that. It like nukes everything or something. You can block all websites for like an hour. That's kind of cool. This is a really good, good Chrome extension that I really recommend using. And I'm going to continue using this for a very long time just to kind of moderate my online use. I know I sound like a boomer. I sound like my parents, what they used to say to me when I was younger. But now that I'm older, I, I do need to implement these types of limitations. And maybe you do too. 
And I guess that pretty much takes us to the end of the video. If you have any cool Chrome extensions that I should try out or anyone else should try out, comment in the comment section below. If you did enjoy the video, please drop it a like and subscribe if you are new. Peace.